Hi there, my name is August Simonelli and I'm a technical marketing manager here at Red Hat. Today, I'm going to take you on a really cool journey. We're off to explore something we like to call instant multi-cloud. We're able to do this because OpenShift runs on all the major clouds, empowering your team with a consistent platform no matter where they want to run. It's really quite easy. So, how do we do this, you ask? Sit back, relax, and come along for a journey into the art of the possible. Okay, first let's set the scene. You have an idea and you want to get that out to your customers. So you have your developers who write a bunch of code and they need to get that code out. So you'll probably need a development pipeline and likely a container registry. So to make this demo as easy as possible, we're using a simple sample application called OS Toy, which is stored in GitHub. We've built a pipeline using GitHub Actions. Our pipeline will build an image containing our code and we'll store that in Red Hat Quay. And we've got four OpenShift deployments, two in AWS, one Azure, and one in Google Compute Cloud. Okay, so what's this going to look like? In our AWS environment, we have deployed Red Hat OpenShift service on AWS, also referred to as Rosa. We have two clusters. One represents our development environment, and one is our production environment. Our pipeline is via a GitHub action, so we'll go ahead and run that workflow. And the first step, which we only do once, is to build the image and push to Quay. And once that's ready, off it goes to our development environment, which we can see right here. We're going to look at the developer view under the topology menu to see this actually happen in real time. Now, remember, this little sample app we're using is a microservice app, so there's a back-end and a front-end deployment. We'll see them both happen here. Perfect. Now, let's check the route and see the app. And we've actually coded it to be clear of what environment it's in. So as you can see, this is orange, and it says it's running in Rosa. So remember, we were treating that environment as our development environment. Once our code's reviewed, we're going to production. So we use the same pipeline, the same image, and we release to Rosa production. And just like before, we can watch this in our production environment's topology view. It's the same process. Back end, front end, review the code. This is great, it was easy. We're now in AWS, but as we get more customers, we really do wanna grow. And look, perhaps there's another app you'd rather run in Azure, or you'd like to take advantage of your Microsoft committed spend. Well, that's easy. We have Microsoft Azure Red Hat OpenShift, also known as Arrow, ready to go. And by using our single pipeline and our shared image, we are able to deploy directly to Arrow in a single step. So we'll go ahead and review and approve the deployment, and off we go. Isn't that great? We're now running in Rosa and Arrow. And say you'd like to use Google Cloud, maybe for compliance. That's not a problem either as OpenShift Dedicated, also known as OSD, runs there. And how do we get our code there? Yeah, you guessed it. Same pipeline, same image, same code. Approve and deploy, off you go. And with that simple process, we're running in the three major clouds it's easy to take advantage of all the features of the big clouds. And just consider the possibilities. You might want to load balance those clouds behind something like Azure Front Door. Leveraging global massive infrastructure for all of your customers. And there you have it. Why not give Instant Multi-Cloud a try today with Red Hat Cloud Services? For more information on this demo, or for more information about any of our products, see the links in the description or contact your local Red Hat sales associate today. And thanks for watching.